What's up? What's up, you guys? Thanks for joining. How are you guys all doing? Not gonna be live for a super long time. Just uh, just wanted to get on to play some of the new Dark Account server. What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining. doing pretty good um, I went out uh, worked out a little bit uh, I just edited a video that's gonna be um, that is gonna be posted in about an hour and 50 minutes um, so that's gonna be posted and then um, yeah I think I'll, I'll be I'll be posting more videos uh, soon uh, I'm not doing arena yet I need to I need to upgrade my cookies. I did get uh, camera arrow though. I got camera arrow, so I I've been using camera arrow to push through the world exploration for a little bit. Um, upgrading my castle right now. Uh, and then once I once I get up a little bit more, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do this because right now I just I I'm getting my butt handed to me by these guys. Um, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit before I can Yeah, before I'm, I'm able to do anything A little bit better with the with this but I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. Yeah I'm trying to trying to just uh, push through the world exploration That's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Yeah, this is gonna be a free-to-play account unless un unless um, you know out of the blue moon, I just feel like, hey, maybe I couldn't spend a couple of dollars, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that as of now. <sighs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure about if I want to spend some money on this, on this account as of now. But no legendary or ancients as of so far. Um, yeah, cotton good. Yeah, cotton is amazing. Look how slow she attacks. Um, as world exploration, um, Sorbet is okay, um, but it's better to use AOE damage dealers in the beginning uh, because there are just so many, like you know, units or enemies out there um, that it's better to use a range uh, or you know AOE damage dealer or area damage dealer like Cherry Blossom and Caramel Arrow um, until you get to a Probably a bit of a bit of a like higher level. Um, that's probably going to be it. Uh, so, is my frontline tank good? Pomegranate is not a frontline tank. Pomegranate is not even anywhere near the tank. I'm most excited for Project B. Uh, for me, yeah. But yeah, those are those are what I'm excited for right now, uh, from the new game at least. Um, Oven Smash, yeah, I mean it's a cool game, but Project B is probably what what I'm really excited for. Herb or Cotton? Right now, Herb is better, but the thing is, I would say right now inside of the Dark Cow server, using Cotton plus Herb is not going to be a bad idea because of the fact that you know we have Caramel Arrow um, and. Just because cotton is just so strong, right? It's probably better uh, to use both of them at the same time as of now. Um, some stages, yes, gingerbread kept dying, uh, but I mean it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm I, I'm I'm not going back as of now. Because I don't want to, 
uh, waste my stamina jelly. Uh, but I'm just pushing through. Yeah. I'm just pushing through and trying to uh, just level up my cookies. Tips on how to get lucky. That's not. A, there's no tip on that. I wish there was, but sadly, no tips uh, of how to get lucky. That's, uh... See you, Jade. Thanks for stopping by. If you hit the like button before you leave, it'll, it'll be amazing. Custer, a good healer. Uh, Custer became a better healer uh, than Custer was before. Nice. Tower of Sweet Chaos unlocked. Why don't I re-roll accounts? Because, I mean, I don't want to waste the time. Yeah. I Yeah, I wouldn't want to waste time to do it as of now. Camera Oro is better than uh, Twizzly. All right. Um, so, some of the things that happened uh, between today and yesterday, um, or yesterday and today, is that I got to upgrade my kingdom. Um, I got the balloon, um, and I made the jammery. I do have the costume gotcha that I can do, so let's do a costume gotcha. And we got nothing. Um, yeah, we got nothing. So there's the costume gotcha that I, I just did. Um, I did some of the events as well. Um, I uh, just unlocked Tower of Sweet Chaos, and I got the carpentry. And yeah, pretty much it. Oh, I actually got Caramel Arrow, right? Just like I said before, Caramel Arrow has been unlocked as well. Uh, did some gotchas. And yeah, pretty much Caramel Arrow is the only thing that I got. And these these that I will promote probably later on. But uh, but my, my goal for today, goal for today is to try to push the world exploration as uh, much as possible. And then, at the end of it, you know, go and do some arena, right? Uh, so that is that is my goal for right now. But like, I need a better frontline tank. That is for sure. Maybe I'll do another uh, another gotcha. Go to the normal banner and do some gotcha here because Caramel Arrow is good. However, I do need another tank that is not gingerbread, especially if I want to compete in the arena right now. Um, and if I could just get herb, it would just be so much better too. Custard is good in in the world exploration, but right now in the arena, herb is top top tier. So that's just what I what I would say. Or holoberry, yeah, I mean holoberry will be amazing. Uh -huh. uh, but I'll be alive for about an hour probably today. Not too much. Just uh, just want to you know. Just hop on and play a little bit while chatting with you guys. So and that's that's my that's my goal or that's my plan today. Get dark cow. Of course, I would love to get dark cow. The best combo in arena right now is Spurs, so I would recommend Moon Rabbit. No, Moon Rabbit is not that good because if you use Moon Rabbit, then you lose a place of another tank and it's just better to use someone else than moon rabbit you don't get heal from moon rabbit it's unless you don't kill people like if you don't kill people you don't get healed so moon rabbit is on paper she's really good but she's just not that great like people people overestimate the ability of moon rabbit and it's just not it's not worth investing in a new rabbit for the long run. They're just better cookies to use. Uh -huh. So. If Werewolf is not good, I would say Moon Rabbit is probably not worth it either. Fig is definitely not worth it. Um. Purple Yam is not worth it. Parfait Heal is okay, but I would say it's better to use someone else uh, with Parfait. Do I think I could push it? Isn't it? Isn't it ending today? Ends today, isn't it? 
The arena? The uh, arena ends today, so... If I want to, then I gotta hurry up and push it. Let's, let's just... Let's do some gotcha after this. Um, yeah, Karamoro is definitely worth it. Alright, so we got enough crystals, so let's go and do some... Oh man, I need a lot of pickaxes. I'm just gonna do this. Do this. Do this. <laughs> I need to upgrade this. I need to go to the uh, that, but whatever. We're gonna do this real quick. Hopefully, we get an epic here. Come on, <sighs> dude. Whenever I start a new account, I just never get good stuff. Look, I got this. I got two muscle. I got a adventurer, and then I got camera arrow here one time. And like, there's this. There's that. <sighs> All right, all right, we got this. From a single, I believe. <gasps> we got content. Oh my god. Oh, dude. Heck yeah. Dude, now give me Darker Cow, too. Oh my, the Soul Stone. <sighs> dude, we got content. That's oh my gosh! That's that's over. It's over. It's over. Dude, world exploration easy clear now. I know. I I thought it was dark account too. It would have been amazing if it was dark account, you know. But make sure, guys, to always focus on your cookie houses. That's the top thing that I'll let uh I'll recommend you guys to always do. First thing is to build them. But nice, dude. Getting content this earlier on in the uh, in the game—that's hundred percent something that's going to be amazing for newer players or new accounts. So here we go. I'm just gonna have to do this real quick. Light that up. Do this, and we can continue on. And this time, I will probably replace. Custer and put any cards in here. Yeah. Oh. Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna do that. Let's go. Yeah, happy Ramadan. And then, should I save up damage with a slam mark or pull? Definitely save up. Uh. Uh, direct it's um so I would say obviously build the um build the lion statue as well as uh the uh call it the dark lord's castle parfait's uh, uh or the dessert tower as well as um what else was there the uh the dark the 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 what what's the landmark the dark cow landmark yeah the dark cow landmark I forgot which one what it was called Yeah, yeah, Wall of the Fallen, or yeah, some that that thing. It's good. Uh, is the Dark Cow server guild full? I think a, I think we have like three spots left, but I have like over twenty people who are yeah, uh, waiting for to join right now. Do you think Hollowberry and no Hollowberry doesn't need any buff. Pure vanilla might. I mean, but the thing is, still pure vanilla is like super super good within the world exploration. So, 
Just because, you know, Pure Vanilla got pushed out of the uh, arena meta a little bit doesn't mean that he necessarily needs that buff. You know, it wouldn't make sense to buff uh, Ancient Cookies just because, you know, Ancient Cookies are not, uh, not being used inside of the arena for a little bit. It would just not be fair for the epics, you know, or and it wouldn't be fair for the people who weren't who aren't able to pull for uh, the the ancients. So I know literally on life support. Let's see, my guild. Guild. I know I have a lot of people waiting. So I have 28 out of 30 right now. And right there, look. If I, ooh. So I just accept the those and now we have 30. So, but I am gonna be getting rid of people if they don't play, so. A lot of these people were online for a long time. So. If I don't see them, if I don't see them joining then, or like playing, then I will, um, I will, I will kick them out. that one done <clears throat> I believe purple yam wolf and fig they all need uh, yeah they all need buffs definitely definitely need buffs uh -huh. it's just on tower so you chaos real quick <laughs> Is Mint still good? Mint is okay. Yeah. Nice, Chris. Man. Tower of Sweet Chaos is hard. Holy. Is it okay to use auto in boss stages? I mean, yeah, you can. It's not. It's not like, oh, you can't use it at all. No, it's like, you know, it. You have more control. But you know, when it comes to doing stages where it's a bit hard, then I would say, um, yeah, it's probably better. Oh yeah, yeah, Psycho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. I see the profile picture. It's the same as before. Guild battle, Dark Choco, just us, just use the, um, still just use the, whatchamacallit, uh, Solid Almond, Solid Almond, yeah. Uh, Zach, Dark Cow is, I, I would equally put Dark Cow in the same tier as Sea Fairy. Um, should you invest in cherry blossom? So here is the here is like a conclusion I've I've made uh, regarding cherry blossom guys. So if you don't have a good damage dealer, aka newer players, building cherry blossom is not a bad idea. However, if you already have someone like you know a good good ambush cookie like Sorbet, you have Sea Fairy, um, you know you have Cots. I mean, it's just like it's Frost Queen, just any of the other like good AOE damage dealer. I would say it's not this. It's not it. She doesn't have to be a necessity, 
she can be good if used properly and used in the right team with the right toppings. However, she won't. I don't think she's gonna become like a like a cookie compared to someone like Caramel Arrow, uh, where um, you know where you're gonna be able to like completely change the meta and everyone's using Caramel Arrow. So that's what I would say. Doesn't mean that she's bad or anything. Yeah. No, never, never use full swift chocolate on Sea Fairy. That is uh, not it. Not it. Yeah. What should I prioritize my mileage on? I would say prioritize your mileage on treasures as of now. In the beginning, you should still be prioritizing treasure. Uh, you will you will see a big difference uh, playing with higher level treasure than you know having all the good cookies as of now. In the earlier stages, you can still beat you know every every or not every but good majority of of the stages. Should I use Cherry Blossom over Sorbet? Well, if you are a newer player right now, then yes, I would say it's gonna be better to use Sorbet. I mean, not Sorbet, Cherry Blossom, because of the area damage Cherry Blossom has. However, if you are an older player, then Sorbet is just gonna be way more valuable to your team uh, in a lot more uh, in a lot more stages and game modes. Yeah. What do you think the next cookie is gonna be? I have no idea. I, w I would love to know. I mean, it is pretty pretty cool to see that you know there was only 14 days of cherry blossom. So. Well, Dark Choco definitely doesn't need a buff. If if a cookie is being used in in one particular game mode, you know, without fail since the beginning, then there's nothing you need to change about that cookie. However, Milk Cookie, I would say, might need a slight buff. Uh, you know. Will I make another baking stream? Maybe, maybe. No, Sorbet didn't fall off the meta. They're still good. It's just, you know, it, it's it's to counter particular teams. Yeah, particular teams. Like, you know, double tanks. Yeah, Caramel got a, I mean, Pomegranate got a huge buff. The 20% to 30% attack boost. That was last update. That was a month ago. What is DCC meta like? Using all the... Any cookie that you get. <laughs> that's, that's what DC, uh, DCC server uh, meta is. I made a video about it, Psycho. I even made Tearless. Should I use Black Raisin or Cherry Blossom? If you're in the world exploration, Cherry Blossom is going to be better for you. Yeah. What's the difference between defense and damage resist? 
Defense is for auto attacks and damage resist is for skills, I believe that's what they said. But the thing is, um, it's just better to have damage resist um, because you're it's basically you're just taking like, you know, less percentage of the damage. So Pumpkin or Sorbet in the arena. Uh, using both of them at, uh, together right now is a good team with, um, I believe it was... Dark Cacao? Yeah, Dark Cacao, Sorbet, Caram... Uh, I mean, not, not Caramel. It was Dark Cacao, Sorbet, Pumpkin Pie, Cotton, and... Uh, I think it was... Herb? It's uh, it's really good right now. That one's too. Hanako, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a good night's sleep. And yeah. Just, uh, just, you know, I, I can't, I don't know the entire, um, I don't know the entire math behind it, but I would just tell you guys that, you know, just prioritize damage resist. Yeah. What will happen to the arena on the right? What? Thanks, Lilac. Minchoko's heal is not bad, but is it going to be better than pomegranate right now? No, pomegranate is just better. Let's see, can we build landmarks? Yes, we can. I can't build that one. I can't build that one. I can't build that one either. Sad. Let's go back to world exploration. What's the ideal team for episode 14? Right now, I believe it was, uh, Kerem? No, it was Pomegranate, Parfait, Cotton, Dark Cacao, and someone like Sea Fairy or even Camel Arrow. Yeah, I think, I think those, that, that team works. I I was able to beat majority of it uh, using I used Dark Cow, Caramel Arrow, Pure Vanilla Cotton, and Eclair. Oh yeah, you can use Eclair too. Yeah, Eclair is good too. So. No, Gingerbread died. Are you kidding? Gingerbread died again. Coco. Coco is not that great right now. Yeah. I can't level up my cookies right now. Um I'm at I'm at max cap right now. I need to level up. My kingdom level needs to go up in order for me to upgrade my level. That's why it's uh, it's better to, you know, keep on playing world exploration. Is Cherry Blossom up? Uh, nah. 
Yeah, it's okay for I, like I said, newer players. Cherry Blossom is gonna be ama uh, it's ama amazing because of the fact that you're able to you know deal a lot of extra area damage and it's gonna help you push through the world exploration. But for older players, you know, if you have better teams already, this is probably one of the cookies that you can probably just get one copy of and then you know just uh, yeah, just uh, not not think about here's the thing about alfagato uh it doesn't matter herb herb alfagato doesn't counter herb because just because of that purify doesn't mean that uh, alfagato is able to do enough damage alfagato doesn't do enough damage even with that 500 percent burst damage it's like it doesn't kill anybody so herb just purifies and then just out heals the damage so it's not worth using alfagato uh Avogado is not a counter. Yeah. Sadly. Yeah. So Avogado will never never be shown inside of the arena. It's just how it's gonna be. Just how it is. One shot comp one shot comp is I don't think one shot comp will ever die. Yeah. I don't think there's gonna be a time when one shot comp will be gone for like more than one season. Yeah, basically. So it's you know even the damage, just the buff in general, like debuffs in general. It's just like you know. If you're gonna use Alfagato, then there's just better cookies to use rather than Alfagato, you know. So that's that's what I'm think, what what I'm trying to get get at, you know. It's just not worth it. If you have the ability to use somebody, then why would you use Alfagato, right? If you have all the other options. Uh, cause I don't have a tank. There's no, there's no tank. I have no tanks. I can use princess, but I don't think I will. I would want to waste my exp star jellies on princess right now. Is Madeline a good tank? Madeline is not a bad tank. Yeah, that's what I was just say. Madeline is not a bad tank. Gingerbread just keeps dying. What's up, Tay? Best defense? Hollaberry still? Hollaberry is still one of the best defense. Madeline's just good right now for, I would say, Arena. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Don't use Pumpkin as your tank. Pumpkin's a good, um, you know, side tank, is what I would say. If you focus on Pompon as your main tank, then you'll regret it later on. It may work out in the beginning, but you're going to see that, like, there's enemies in episode 14 that is able to just instantly kill uh, Pompon. And you just will never have a tank. I mean, even before that, you're probably never even gonna be able to get through all the way up to episode 14 with just Pompon -pom as your tank. Yeah, Hollowberry plus pu Pumpkin Pie is good. Yeah. Yeah, Frost Queen, not very good. I have a I have a I have a person who makes my thumbnails for me, or at least these uh, these ones. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's great. It's awesome. That's why I always ask when I when there's a new update coming out. I usually ask 
to to get a live stream thumbnail. Don't die, Ginger Brave. Yes. Full raspberry on pumpkin. Uh, full solid almond on pumpkin. Do they prefer to be uh, anonymous? No. Uh, the name's uh, Angel, but. been making thumbnails for me for for a while now yeah it's been a long time already now I think about it yeah this is free to play right now as of now as of now Sarah I have a video on 12-30 so I would recommend you go watch that video Dark account server? It's just, it's the same. It's just the same. There's nothing real different about it, so. Can you still use one shot comp? Yeah, one shot comps. Uh, right now, the one shot comp is Ginger Brave. Kumio, Darker Cow, Caramel Arrow, and Sea Fairy. That's the that's the one shot comp that we have going on currently. How do you level up fast as a beginner? Just keep playing World Exploration. Um, there's no other other way. Just you gotta keep playing World Exploration, get the kingdom level up, and then do your Tower of Sweet Chaos. That's gonna be the biggest uh, EXP Star Jelly uh, grinding method in the beginning. Uh, and then, you know, once you get up to, uh, I believe, Ki Kingdom Castle level 5, you want to open up your Soda Island. Because Soda Island is going to be another thing that's going to be really, really good for you. Um, so I would recommend you guys, um, yeah, go and uh, upgrade your, or expand and then, yeah, get the Soda Island. Don't... Squid Ink? No, not really. Yeah, not really. Squid Ink is not that great as as of now. Yeah, not that great. I don't have anybody other than Ginger Brave. I'm not using Princess, like I said. I'm not. I'm not gonna waste my EXP Star Jellies on Princess right now. So make sure to unlock this way. Yeah, unlock this way to get get to the uh, get to this. Yeah. Unlock this. This whole area here. Level of my cookies. I started playing back in April of last, no, March of last year. Why did I stop reacting to Gnome video? Because no one really seemed to be interested. Uh, EXP Star Jellies, definitely, um, you know, just going through the, um, Tower of Sweet Chaos and upgrading your, 
your uh, upgrading your what you call it cookie houses and then skill powder there really isn't too much met uh, a method except to just play the bounty every single day that's pretty much it What's up, Uno means too? Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, I'm missing a little bit. Uh, for the oh wait I need to build something oh whoa whoa I'll just wait <laughs> How did I find out about uh, Cooking Kingdom? Uh, my fiance's brother was playing it when we went on a vacation, and I I started playing it. Maybe I'll just use the the tube. Increased my Ginger Braves uh, HP a little bit more. Oh, Ginger Brave, don't die! Cookie Alliance? I mean, yeah, Cookie Alliance is still good. I mean, yeah. We're getting close. We're getting close, guys. Okay, I'll just get that torch later. Who's the best epic tank? Um, Strawberry Crate. The only other way... There's only two ways to get relics. It's through the Cookie Alliance and through the... Um, through the Rainbow Shell Gallery. Those are the only two ways you can get relics. There's no other way. Um, so, you know. My rank? I'm top six. I'm in 6,000 right now, Master 2. I don't really do much arena anymore uh, inside my main account unless like just to test out my my uh, my new build or the new builds that we have going on and things like that. That's pretty much what I do nowadays in the Kingdom Arena. Yeah. I am gonna take this out. I'm gonna use a flamingo tube. Let's see how that works out. Is it possible to beat uh, 1230 without Dark Choco? Yes. But it will be easier with Dark Choco. You know, having someone like Eclair is going to help out too. But I would say you probably need at least one or the other. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not. I did not finish 14 that or episode 14 story mode in dark mode. Oh, dude, what do I just do? I don't think anybody beat... Uh, shoot. I don't think anybody beat episode 14 in dark mode yet. Could be wrong, but... 
Unless they hack the game. Okay, we got the boss now, finally, of episode 4. Um, I don't think I'm gonna die here, right? Wow, they just do so much damage to my cookies. Holy. Well, good thing is I got this health pot. So that's one good thing. And should be the boss now. Yep, here we go. White Sugar Dragon Golem. Or Guardian Golem. What did I say? White sugar. Oh, that's easy. Whew. So easy. Oh, Cookie Run Kingdom. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Dev Sisters. Thank you so much for stopping by. I think it's the first time I've seen Cookie Run Kingdom in, in this chat. That's amazing. Thank you, thank you for joining. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I try to keep it at that because, you know, sometimes we I get bombarded with a lot of text and, you know. I try to give back to the people who are, who are supporting the channel, you know subscribe and coming in so but thank you thank you for stopping by it's amazing amazing to see <laughs> um i mean i gotta thank you guys because you know this is the game that game that started it all so <laughs> It's all thanks to Cookie and Kingdom. In the so it was it was like it was like you know in the beginning I was able to give back to everybody you know um, I I didn't have many subscribers uh, I didn't have many people watching etc. But as time went by you know I, I had to choose I had to choose it's like you know I'm one person I don't have you know I don't have I, I it's not like you know. I can do everything. I don't have, you know, five different bodies to type, answer, talk. So I pretty much had to choose, and that's kind of one of my method of of kind of choosing and doing all that stuff. So, but yeah, Cookie Kingdom is the one is the game that that got it all started. So. But please, uh, give me access to uh, Kakura and Oven Smash. <laughs> I need, I need that access. I will be ready. Announce it, and I will, I will uh, sign up for the closed beta right away. <laughs> awesome. I signed up for the uh, Dead Side Club as well on Steam. Just waiting for the, waiting for that access. There we go. Episode four is cleared. So let's just keep going. Oh, I need this first, though. All right, we'll, we'll just go into here. And now I can put in my. Third treasure as well. I can upgrade, right? Yep, I can level up my cookies. This one. There we go, and let's go. 
I need to hurry up and get to episode six because episode six is where you know all the leveling happens. That's where you just skyrocket in level. Just need to hurry up and get there, and then once I get there, you know, I can hurry up and just climb the arena. Gotta gotta try to get that top 500, you know. <laughs> gotta, gotta get that top 500. Oh no 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 no! Whew. If I didn't have this, my gingerbread would have been dead right there. Alright, yeah, I know that was close. I wonder, I wonder if Cookie Run can tell us. Cookie Run Kingdom, is there a new update coming out in 14 days? <laughs> The banner, banner for Cherry Blossom is only 14 days long. Is that what's happening? Oh, can't say, can't say. I would be excited to see that. <laughs> right, Cream Republic. I'm I'm excited to see the that new story. I can't I can't wait for the new story. I was watching it and I saw the new new story act two that you guys are planning right now and it looked amazing. I'm excited for the Cream Republic as well as, um, you know, some of the new features that you guys talked about. That that's what I'm excited about. Like, uh, not one other thing is, you know, the the care system for the returning players and the new players. I think that's gonna really, really help out, uh, especially for people who, you know, took a break or joining in. Um, and yeah. I mean, once I saw the 15 minute a portion of Dev Now of Cookie and Kingdom, I was like, it's good stuff, good stuff. I can't wait to see what's going to happen, you know? Because a, a lot of things were talked about in such a short time that, you know, all I can do is I can just wait. <laughs> Oh, we have, they said it, they said it. We have really good stuff coming out this year. I'll be waiting, I'm excited. Like really, really. I'm all for it. I am all for it. I'm excited to see. And I will be ready when, it, when they drop. Like always. For the last last uh, last year, right? My YouTube channel's been uh, active for one year now. Yeah, I actually had my anniversary uh, notification on my YouTube studio like a week back. It's been a one year and twelve days since I actually started this YouTube channel for Cooker and Kingdom. So I had my anniversary. <laughs> So, thank you, thank you. Yeah, one year went by so fast. Not gonna lie. And, you know, that one whole year, 
cha a lot changed because of I was not gonna lie, Kokiro and Kingdom. A lot changed. So I'm excited to see the see the second year go by with with Kokiro and Kingdom as well. And the new games too. I'm excited for the new games, especially Project B. But that's gonna take another you know another year or so. So I'm I'm I'll wait for that one. I'll wait for that one. <laughs> Yep, 2023. I, I'm I'm super excited for Project B. Just looking at the you know, the gameplay and everything, I was like, mm, this one's gonna be a good one. You know, just having that co-op in general was, I think that was a big big thing for me. You know, being able to play with other people, uh, you know, having that co-op available. Cotton, I would say right now, just uh, going with full swift chocolate is gonna be good. Yeah. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to. Oh, yeah, I need to build that cookie house, too. make this one and then I think I can upgrade the yeah uh, this is gonna this is gonna have to go and once those are done should upgrade this for now should we do a little bit of kingdom arena while we're at it Let's just put this one on and then where's cotton? Alright, we're gonna go with this. All of them look so scary. We're gonna win to dodge that. This honestly looks pretty scary too. Thanks, Cookie Kingdom. Thank you for that. Oh, I should see the I should see the um, the top rank, shouldn't I? Oh my! Oh yes! Whew. That was a uh, oof. That was close. <laughs> That's close. That's close. All right, ranking. I'm top five thousand right now. Oh. Chatwe. Is that how you pronounce it? Seems like seems like seems like you spent money on this game or this server. This server just to get this. Seems like you spent some money. I spent money on this game, of course. Haven't spent on this account yet. There we go, direct is still there. Look at this. Hot librarian dark account already. And I'm sitting here with Ginger Brave. Hollerberry Frost Queen. Hey uh.
That's crazy that 50 56,000 49,000 I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get get up there We'll have to see We'll have to see Yes, but thank you everybody for subscribing and you know joining and supporting the channel Really appreciate it But we're gonna start climbing this arena Slowly, slowly. Try to get to that top 500 before the day ends. And if that is the case, I I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough tickets. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. There we go. There we go. Cherry blossom is still pretty good, you know. I'm telling you, Terror Blossom right now for the Dark Cacao server is going to be one of the better cookies to use compared to others. No, you cannot switch servers, guys. There's no switching server. You have to create a new account. Yeah, you have to create a new account. Oh my gosh, my, my cookies exploded. All right, silver three now. This person has a scroll that I don't even have yet. I need to get the scroll too. Maybe I will replace the flamingo two for the the hurricane's echo. Maybe that's a better idea. Still getting forty trophies. Still getting forty trophies. Okay, I'm just gonna use the Hurricane's Echo. I think that's gonna be better. Let's go. I have an account on Holobray server. I have an account in Dark Cacao server right now. I have an account in Pure Vanilla server. I have a, I have a lot of different accounts. <laughs> Man, the Hurricane Echo is... That, that did a lot of damage. There we go. There we go. Gotta do the uh, revenge one as well. Make sure to take advantage of the revenge, guys. The uh, the breaker limit. I think that was the event's name, right? It's still going on. Uh, that is gonna give you some extra, you know, rewards and things like that to jumpstart your game in the uh, new Dark Account server. So make sure to do that, right? You finished Break Your Limit in one day? Oh, they have Frost Queen. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, Caramel. Yes. Let's keep going. Gold two versing or silver two go uh, versing a gold two should be a good good uh oh I don't I this this one's uh this one's a lost cause the moon rabbit the moon rabbit Parfait, cherry blossom, easy. I just got to Master Four the first time. Awesome! Congrats! Congrats! This person has a scroll. Sea fairy. Uh, let's go for it still. We'll still go for it. Yes. We destroyed the sea fairy before she was able to use the skill. 
Oh yeah, guys, the dice event is one of the best events right now, I would say. So take advantage of it. What is this? Level 38? Holy. This person has the skin. It's like the dice events reward is like top notch. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, do it before it's too late. You don't want to miss out on that event. I will tell you. Uh huh. Silver one. I mean, like the rewards for dice event as well as the it's it's different too, right? We we haven't gotten any like event like this, like this one. No, these kind of ones. This uh this game board, you know. This is a uh, and also the reward. Look at this, five hundred rainbow cubes. I need this. And also, you get the decors that you can't. You know, these are exclusive, right? And then we got crystals, bunch of coins, and uh, you know, this, just from this event, if you, I would say, if you are able to take advantage of this event, you can probably unlock Trade Blossom without even doing the gacha, and, or just with the help of a, a little bit of gacha, you know. There's two, four, five, six. You get six. Uh, so some from there and then if you keep going and you land on all these question marks and you're able to unlock or you're able to get some of these soul stones you know it's probably going to be good and then also make sure to do these as well look at this 3,000 crystal 2,000 rainbow cubes you gotta take advantage of this like these are these are definitely stuff you need to you need to do without without a doubt like you need to do these and I'll be making a separate video talking about, you know, my tips and tricks about the the whole event on a separate video. So watch out for that one as well because, you know, I want to take advantage of that. And two days left, guys. Two days left about this, of, of this. Break your limits. So make sure to do that too. Very important. Very important. Oh, that is a real cookie run kingdom. It's a, it has a verified mark as well. Blue stacks? I think it's just control. I think it's control scroll. Uh, I'm using uh, LD player, but I think blue stacks the same. Let's keep going. We have 52 tickets now. A ton of tickets. We can just keep going. Just keep going and keep going and keep going. Oh, I gotta say, Cookie and Kingdom, the new costumes are amazing. Just one thing that I was a little sad about was, you know, not having a separate feature banner for it, but the costumes. Worth it. Definitely worth it. Even though I got three dupes of uh, Latte. Latte's uh, <laughs> Halloween costume. Mm -hmm. uh, cherry Blossoms is amazing, uh, Cottons is amazing, Parfis is amazing, all three of them, I would say, absolutely amazing. Hollaberry, Claire, Frost Queen, Sea Fairy, Cotton, yeah, that's good, that's, that's, that's a balanced team.
And, uh, I have a costume gotcha video that I did uh, on the day of the update. Uploading uh, in 40 minutes. Yeah, in 40 minutes. I have it I have it scheduled, so that's gonna be uploaded. And then I will prop Well, I was thinking about, you know, uploading my gacha for cherry blossom, but it was so boring that I don't think I'm gonna upload that one. Yeah. It's like nothing came out really on that one, except just a bunch of caramel. I mean not caramel. Uh, cherry blossom, so. But yeah, the the costume gacha and the review of the skin is gonna be uploaded in 40 minutes. Yep. So there's that gacha video, and then. <laughs> no, it's just like you know, quote unquote boring, as in like. You know, I just kept getting just, uh, yeah. I don't know, I, I didn't feel very, very, uh, big excitement in the, uh, in the video. This time around, I didn't get, I didn't get one ancient or legendary, so, you know. <laughs> But it's okay. I got my five star cherry blossom. And then I did the review on it. And people watched it. Spoiled whale? Oh my. It would have been amazing if I got one copy of Hollowberry or one co copy of, uh, who is it? One copy of Hollowberry or Frost Queen because I could have got some five star, but still just waiting. Still just patiently waiting. Oh my goodness. Come on, Caramel. Yes. Woohoo. That was so close. Oh. Am I having a hard time with Alliance? Kinda, yeah. I, I would say I'm still having a bit of a hard time in Alliance. My Alliance rank right now is Master 3. Yeah. But I haven't really focused on Alliance too much. I've been focusing more on, you know. Man, episode 14 was a hard one, so. Alright, Kakir and Kingdom, are you guys gonna nerf episode 14? That's a, that's a question I wanna ask. <laughs> because I am not tackling dark mode unless there's a nerf. Is a nerf for that ha ever happening? <laughs> yeah, that is true. Just wanted to throw that out there. You know. Just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> it was challenging though. I... I played that episode for four hours. Before I beat it all. I was stuck on episode or I was stuck on 14-30 for like two hours, I think. Or like an hour and a half. That one was one of the one of the hardest, hardest and the, yeah, most time I've spent on one episode and I still haven't three starred it. But I'm excited for the next episode to come out. 
the story was amazing. So, just for the story alone, I tried to beat it all in one one sitting, um, and it was worth it. At the very end, listening to or watching the whole story. And I lost. Dang it. Oh, come on. Cherry Blossom is going to come into the Mala's shop about two updates later, I would say. Yeah. Two updates. It's going to take a little bit. Yeah, they don't they don't get put into it right away, so you're gonna have to be a little bit patient uh, for for Cherry Blossom to be inside of the Mila shop. More of these. I should be able to buy a Soul Stone of one of the ancient cookies now. Let's see, gold. Nice. Ooh. All right. Well, with all the quests and stuff, you know, while Cookie Run Kingdom is here, let's do seven of the Nether Gotcha single pulls. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a dog or cow here, you know? Let's see. Okay. N not that one. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Okay, now this one. We got a wizard cookie soul stone. <laughs> okay, not that one either. If we get a dark cow, that'd be that'd be amazing. <laughs> no, not this one either. Got a ginger brave for a promotion though. Oh, it's a rare. Two pulls left, guys. Two pulls left. Nope. One last one. Oh, not this time. Not this time. Not this time. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes, sometimes just how it is. Yeah, better luck next time, you know? It's okay. Uh, no cookie gotcha? Yeah, I'll probably be playing that, uh, s soon. I have a lot of different things going on, so I know I know a lot of people always ask for that. Um, so I'll probably uh, play that one sooner or later again. That's probably one of the yeah one of the best challenge account that I made. There we go, castle level. Four, here we come. And while we have the stamina, we're gonna do some more of these. World exploration. What was my favorite update? My favorite update was um let's see. I would say the cotton. Cotton Frost Queen was one of my favorite one. Yeah, that one was one of my favorite. Just because it was the bo uh, birth of one of the most broken cookie <laughs> in the game. 
Like, without a doubt. Right. Yeah. All right. That story, story two. That was, uh, that story was good. Really, really good, too. I still remember watching the story with during the live stream and just staring at the end of the story for, you know, for something to happen. You know, I was waiting for something to happen, but I just stared at it and nothing happened. <laughs> I was hoping like Sherbet would like, you know, come flying or but nothing happened. But still a very touching story. <laughs> Guys, don't don't ask Cookie and Kingdom about the next cookie. We no one knows. No one knows. Come on, we gotta get hyped up for the next cookie. It won't be fun if if we just know right away who the next cookie is, right? My ginger breed is just absolutely getting just destroyed by these enemies. Oh man, survived a little bit more than could have gotten healed. But as a cookie release, Caramel Earl was also a very, very unique cookie that was released into the game. So unique. Like, no one would have thought that she would have been like this, you know? A melee archer. A melee range unit. I think I am able to up level up my... Oh, I am. Okay. No, I have no stamina jelly anymore. Oh, man. Let's see. Um, next legendary? Well, I don't think it's gonna be any l later. Usually, usually two to two to three months is, or two and a half to three months is what I've seen so far. Um, I mean, you can't quote me on it, but that's, that's what I've seen so far. And I think that is what the schedule is gonna be. Which is, yeah, which is back in, what, well, it got released back in March, right? So, yeah, probably June, June, May to June. Don't know who it is. I, they caught me by surprise when the Frost Queen came out. So, I, I have no idea who's going to be, you know? I'm, I will just be waiting for the trailer to be dropped, you know? I still remember, I still remember, um, me, I, I thought that Frost Queen was going to be like an event cookie or something like that. And then I, I remember watching the trailer and, and seeing that it was, uh, it was going to be a legendary. That was, a that was a, that was a crazy moment. My favorite ancient. Personal favorite is still going to be pure vanilla, uh, but meta-wise, I would say Dark Cacao is going to be the meta still, but, you know. Should 
Should we do some of this? Let's do some of this. Two. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Nice. Whoa. Right away. Crazy. One. Oh, what am I getting? Ooh. Nice. Six. Aurora material. Nice. Three. One, two. Ah, so close. Six. What are you getting? What are you getting? Oh, bonus. I didn't know there was a bonus. There was a bonus here too. Oh, I didn't even know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whew. Okay, good. Bonus! Ooh, rainbow pearls. Last roll. Four, one, two, three, and four. Cookie Alliance tickets. All right. It's not bad. Yeah, the mini games is really nice. Oh, I don't have stamina. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Oh, these are these are nice. These are really nice. I really enjoyed this one. I'm excited to pull all 800 or something dice that I have on my main account right now. <laughs> Janet, thank you so much for the $2 donation. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. I have no stamina right now. Yeah. Uh, do you miss the line cookie run? Well, I, I didn't play line cookie run. I played Kakao, t Kakao Talk cookie run. That one was before line. So. But yeah, I play that every day. That that game I played every single day. And during the Kakao Talk and line cookie run, right? We had hearts. So that was our, our quote unquote uh, stamina. So you had you needed friends and then you needed to send each other, you know, hearts so that we can do a run. Yeah. Favorite cookie in the game? I would say I have several, like, you know, Camaro is awesome, Eclair is awesome, you know. Cookie Run? Cookie... Kakao Talk? When it was Kakao Talk Cookie Run? Every single member of my family played it. Mm -hmm. My mom played it, my dad played it, my brother played it, I played it. Yeah. Everybody played it. Oh, that was you, Timmy? Uh oh, they have a pure vanilla. Please. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on, Caramel. We got this. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was, that was another close one. My first epic that I got on my main account was Sparkling Cookie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seriously. Sending arrows back to each other. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. This one's gonna be another close one, and Caramel Arrow carries once again. Caramel Arrow carries once again. Oh, another thing I'm excited about is to receive all of my packages uh, for the from the Cookie Run store. I bought three hundred dollars worth of stuff from the store, and I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it to be shipped. I am excited to get that castle, Lego castle. It's hands down one of the best things that I, I saw on the in that or on the website. Caramel Arrow, you can use five sitting raspberry, or uh, you could go with uh, three solid on or it was three juicy apple jelly and two solid almond. There's that build too. Oh, you got an estimate already? Ooh, I should check mine. I haven't I haven't checked uh my whether whether mine's gonna come in or not. I should check. We're just coming Thursday? Lucky. Yeah, mine's just order completed as of now. I don't have anything. No estimate. I am still waiting. I think it might take a little longer for it to come to the United States. Not sure. That's just my that's my thought, but We're gold one now, guys. Right? My my order is on uh mine just says uh order completed. So, you're in the United States, and it says Thursday for you? Oh, what? That's crazy. What? You're just coming on Mo Thursday? Do you really want to know how much I... S oh. Do you really want to know how much I spent on my main account? A lot. <laughs> I can't give you a specific number because I don't know the specific number either. But it's between five thousand to ten thousand dollars. It's a lot of money. I said in between. I said in between. <laughs> oh, I bet OJ has spent way more than I did. How much do you think Cookie Run Kingdom has spent, guys? Man, I lost this one. Come on. 50,000. <laughs> Oh wow, plus six without any fails. Nice. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, dude, again. Not enough. <laughs> it's 
That's a, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Favorite episode? Uh, I would probably say... Probably episode 14, personally, just because of the story. The story between Dr. Cow and Dr. Choco is... It was really, really good. Uh, for me to do a uh, viewer gacha, I asked the viewers to have around uh, 50,000. Oh my gosh, they have Sea Fairy Dog account and Frost Queen? Holy! Dang! What kind of luck does this person have? And a 2 star Caramel Arrow and Cherry Blossom? What? Holy! Yeah, there's no way I'm beating that. Any theories for Cookie? Um, I think yeah. I think it's gonna be Cream Republic just because of how how the story ended, right? The story ended on you know, Dark Cow getting the uh, letter from Pure Vanilla, and they are waiting to. Uh, now, you know, meet up probably to, you know, decide on what to do, right? And then, yeah, and then probably just because of what they said during DevNow presentation, I think, um, I think it would be highly likely that the next story that's going to come out is going to be the Cream Republic. But, of course, that's another just, uh, theory that we have as of now so all right but let's uh we're gonna end the live stream today with one gotcha from or oh, we're gonna do some gotcha here we're gonna do a gotcha for caramel arrow here okay and then let's hope that we get we get a we get a good cookie here guys all right here we go we got 20 pulls here and then we got some pulls on uh Actually, let's scroll. If we get a scroll here. Oh, that was an enchanted robe. Ah, no scroll though. All right, here we go. 10 pulls here. Gingerbread comes out. We still have a chance. Come on. Ah, okay, rare comes out. Avocado cookie. And here we go. We're going to use the three cookie cutters that we have. Can we get a strawberry crepe, hollow berry, dark cacao? Here we go, 3,000 crystals. And it is going to be an epic. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. What epic is going to be? What epic is going to be? Okay, a single. It's okay. What is it going to be? Probably stream tomorrow. Yeah. Pancake. All right, here we go. This one's gonna be the epic. Can I see some blue or purple? What is it? Twizzly gummy. Okay. Probably not gonna use Twizzly on my team just because I already have Caramel Arrow, but it's okay. All right, there we go. Should we do some costume here? We'll just do the costume just because of it. Uh, nope. Alchemist. It's going to be another common. It's a night cookie. Another common. Ginger Brave. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, I'll be I'll be doing the light of truth as well. And a common. Milk cookie. 
All right, here we go. And the last one is going to be on the... Not this, but get some lighter truth as well. Here we go. I'm going to do five singles. Five singles. And nothing here. Here we go, here we go. Not that one. Come on. Dark cut cow. Dark cut cow. Come on. Oh, dang it. All right, here we go. This is going to be the last pull, guys. Last 10 pull for today. Let's go. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. This might be it. This might be it. We got an epic. Come on. Can we get a dark account on this account? For the dark account server. Herb. Okay. It's a rare first devil cookie. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Mingo. Okay. Mingo's not bad either. I think ma mage. I have no magic yet, so I can use Mingo, and I would stack it with uh, Cherry Blossom as well. It's not bad, but there we go. So far, oh, I can get Night Cookie too. Nice. And if you guys know, there's bonds as well, so make sure to take advantage of the bonds. These are the new two, two new bonds that, or three new bonds that came out. All right, so. All right, well, guys, I think uh, that is gonna be where I'm gonna end today's live stream for uh, for today. Yeah, uh, it was it was fun. It was fun. There was a lot of things that happened, uh, and also, I just want to thank Cooker and Kingdom for stopping by and uh, you know chatting with the viewers and also chatting with me, and also everybody. I really want to thank you guys for joining and just chilling and you know chatting uh, and things like that for. Uh, and, and you know uh, this is what makes the community right uh, and good luck f to everybody uh, who's in dark account server for the arena we have 15 hours left 15 hours left before uh, the arena resets so hopefully you guys can reach as high as you can I will be continuing to play I am going to continue to play try to reach that 500 at, to get that you know to get that banner right here or this uh, profile picture so uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for joining once again. And thanks for uh, stopping by. If you guys haven't done so already, if, it'll be amazing if you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I will be dropping a video in about eight minutes uh, for the costume gotcha that I did uh, back uh, when the update did go live. And I did test out the costume. So if you guys do want to watch that video, it will be uh, uploaded in eight minutes. And also, if you guys can hit that like button before you guys leave, that will be amazing as well. But thank you guys once again for joining. And it's also, thank you so much for Cooking Your Kingdom for stopping by and joining the live stream as well. And I will see you guys all on the next one.